one of the things I tell entrepreneurs is you got to know how to, one, tell your story, but you also got to know how to write your story too. Like every day you get up and you're writing a chapter in your book. Okay. So like for me, when I was on my journey, when she told me that, I was like, damn, she's right. Like I'm writing my book yeah. that I've sold like 50,000 copies of. Yeah. And I'm thinking to myself, like my story isn't good enough. Even though she just told me, yeah. I said, so you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go gonna go to Honduras where Dr. Sebi's village is. So I put that in my story and I did it. And I just kept doing that. Like went to Peru and did this and just traveling, doing, going back to Africa and mm. going to Asia, et cetera. Lived in India for six months and learned yoga and meditation. And I'm realizing, I'm like, damn, I get to write my own story. So if you read my book, Vegetation Over Medication, you're going to hear my story in there. But what's really important it was when she told me that, I understood that I was writing my story by how I was living my life. OK, so every day, no matter what your business is, you need to wake up and understand what could I do to write the next chapter in my story mm -hmm. of my business yep. that could take it to the next level. And that's what I always do. So that's yep. the first thing. The other thing I think is really important. I did. I think this is the best thing that I did. Instead of focusing on getting thousands of followers, I focused on the people who showed up for me. Yeah. So like I was traveling and showing people, hey, I'm in Honduras. Hey, I'm in India. Hey, I'm in Sri Lanka. I'm, I was showing them what I'm doing. So I got like 3000 followers. Mm -hmm. But what I did was I invited them over to my new page that was going to be all about business. And I probably got a thousand people to show up from that. Mm -hmm. But only 50 people really were showing up to like likes and yeah. all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. And it, I said, you know what? Instead of trying to focus on these 950 people who aren't paying attention or I don't know are paying attention yeah. I'm gonna focus on the 50 so that's all I did from the beginning if somebody kept showing up I remembered their name if somebody well, like lives and stuff like yeah that. yeah I remembered their name if they sent me a DM and had a question I answered it and when I got ready to start a membership program guess who I invited the 50, 50. guess how many came 50 you see what I'm saying so like I focused on them and now every time I do a live well you'll notice every time I do a live people mm -hmm. think these people are paid they're not paid <laughs> this is like the now 200, 300 people who have been along this journey with me for so long who have done my detox, read my book. I mean, they literally, if you ask a question, watch my lives. They're going to be in there answering them for me. Wow. I don't pay them. Like, they're just part of my membership program wow. that I call my tribe family. So I think that's a really important part that a lot of entrepreneurs don't do. They don't know who their people are. Mm. And even if my business collapsed today, you know, God forbid, because I'm doing God's work. But even if my business collapsed today, guaranteed, I'm going to have those 400 people. Wow. You know, they're going to show up for me. We're going to I'm going to say, look, they said I can't sell herbs no more. Mm -hmm. All right. So this is what we're doing now. I'm going to invest all my energy into you. You see what I'm saying? So like, I think that's a very important part of business too. Mm -hmm. And then the other thing is I invested in myself, man. Like yeah. when I tell you, like, I remember my first book signing, I ran out of money before the book signing because it cost so much, like the whole process. Yeah. And I remember I ordered books. I ordered like 400 books. I, I was like, you know what? Put all the chips in on the yeah. table. I'm going to sell 400 books. Yep. Man, the book signing was already scheduled. They called me like three days before the book signing was like, the books aren't going to make it. To the book signing. Yeah. So I literally right. was about to cancel the book signing. And then 2 or 3 a.m. in the morning, I woke up and something was like a local printer. It just said local printer. And I started going online and saying local printer for books. Found one, called them at 8 a.m. As soon as they opened, I was like, look, this is what I got going on. I don't have, I got $200, but I need at least 300 books. Mm -hmm. Can you please help me? He said, you know what? If you give me a ticket to come to the book signer, I'll print the books for you. He printed the books for me. I had maybe 100 tickets sold. And by the day of the event, I sold out the event. So he came and I literally paid him back at the book signing. Wow. And then as soon that, so that book signing, I had detoxes there. I didn't even expect them to sell. Like they were literally just there for decoration mm -hmm. because nobody knew about the detox. Wow. <clears throat> and everybody bought every detox. So I literally took the cash out of the cash box and paid him back. And then I took that money and went and bought more books instead of like 
saying I yeah. got money. Mm-hmm. Now nah, I went and bought more books immediately. And then the books that didn't come came in. And then I set up event at the event at the event at the event and just start selling the book. So that's what I mean by like, don't wait for people to invite you to events, to invite you to podcasts. Don't wait for that. Create that kind of following that I talked about, like yeah. that tenacious 10 or vivacious 50. Yeah. And invite them everywhere mm-hmm. and tell them to invite their people. And that's what kept happening. I would invite my 50 out. That 50 would invite at least two people. So then I got 150 people at the event. You see what I'm saying? And yeah, just kept smart. doing that. Thanks for watching this video, but be sure to check this next video out that's right here.